what is a programming environment? This is how we would explain it to the kids. Basically, an area that allows you to do a specific task. Let us take an example from cooking. The environment that is created for this purpose is a kitchen. A kitchen will hold the key things that are required for cooking. The appliances, hob, chimney, oven, refrigerator. There will be space for cutting, chopping, area for washing, area for organizing, food items, utensils, used utensils. In the programming world, the specific design space is referred to as the IDE, stands for an Integrated Development Environment. It is a software application that provides most features that programmers need for software development. An editor to write the code statements, a program execution area to run the program and see the output, certain tools that allows one to debug program, and other advanced features depending upon the purpose of the software. Some popular IDEs are Eclipse, Visual Studio, they support multiple languages. And if we look at Python specifically, some of the most popular development environments are the Jupyter Studio, Notebooks, Visual Studio, PyCharm, Spider, and many more. MIT Scratch has provided an online Scratch Studio as well as an offline editor. The Scratch user interface strives to make navigation easy for its users. It's supposed to features that are useful for a young developer. It has intentionally left out what is not of immediate value for the target developers. It has a single window, multiple panels designed so that all the important elements are visible. You can look at the tutorial, know the components for more details on the Scratch environment. Let me share some interesting history and the current statistics on the Scratch platform. Scratch 2.0 was originally built on Flash and by 2015 when the requirement to do a JavaScript rewrite was imminent, a collaboration formed between Google Blockly and MIT Scratch. So what is Blockly? It is a library that makes it easy for developers to add block programming to their applications. In January 2019, when Scratch 3.0 was launched, it was using blocks built on this Google Blockly platform. So now Scratch 3.0 has JavaScript underneath it. The statistics of number of users for Scratch is impressive worldwide. And Scratch does have a statistics page. It shows the number of users that are using the platform to learn coding in a creative and fun way. Over 70 million projects shared, over 66 million users registered. Let us continue with the example of the kitchen. If we were talking about a commercial kitchen rather than a home kitchen, then the design would enable for much more collaborative working. So many of the online cloud-based development environments are taking the direction of collaborative work. And this is happening across different areas. So for instance, there's a Google Collab for Python and one of the most popular platform for data scientists, it's Kaggle. And of course, MIT Scratch for visual coding. So a key design goal of the Scratch online platform is to support learning through tinkering and collaboration with peers. Features like remixing a fellow Scratch's project is encouraged and use to be used for inspiration. Our objective as educators and parents should be to ensure that we use the ecosystem and the platform to help our children to take to creative programming and develop their logical thinking in a fun and playful manner. These life skills will go with them in whichever area of interest they pursue.